what is going on everybody so today we have the kisu v4 development board here now this for those of you who do not know have never heard of this this will be a alternative to the flipper zero um that runs flipper firmware it is uses a modified uh well actually i should say you can put the original flipper firmware on there you can use some of the th of the third party like uh, momentum and things like that uh, but there is also a uh, modified version for this board on their github but uh, that'll be for a another video this one is just the unboxing and first impressions. Um, the photos on their website, their website is amazing, but the photos on the website and some of the videos that I've seen on YouTube uh, from Agatha, shout out to Agatha, you've done amazing with those videos and um, made me want to reach out to Kisu to uh, to grab one of these for myself. Um, so a special thanks to Kisu for sending this out to me. Their team is amazing and uh but yeah, so let's go ahead and unbox this. Let's take a look. I just got this in, so um, we are we're all we're all new here. Okay, so everything that I'm seeing is exactly what you're seeing at the same time. So, all right, so we've got some branding here at the top, the QR code there, Kisu with the uh, VA4 development board. Some more stuff. So the contents would be the board itself acrylic cover so i'm guessing like a face plate um a lir 20 20 uh, 2023 rechargeable battery so that is actually a button battery um and i didn't even know when i until i actually saw this project that they actually have rechargeable button batteries so the more you know right uh and then the gifts which i think might be rings and some other 3d printed stuff but anyways uh that's pretty much it for branding here it says Rip to open, so we will. Oh, well, kind of, maybe. Let's see. Can't really rip it to open, but I'm ripping the box, which I don't want to do. So we are going to use our trusty Apple Pencil and stab it. So let's do that. All right. There we go. Apple Pencil comes in handy for pointing and for opening. All right, so here we go. All right, so we've got some foam. We've got a sticker, which is the basically what goes through that window of the box. A card with some information about them, what the what the board does, and some of the other stuff that they have got going on. Okay, we have a little three D printed. Is that like a cat? I would say so. And we have the board itself. So we're going to use this as a pull tab. All right. And there is nothing else in the box. Oh, there is. Glad I pulled that out. This is the acrylic face covering. So how that goes on there, I am not sure. I'm guessing it's just a base plate but we'll figure it out we'll figure it out anyways so this is the board itself let's go ahead and uh get this out of the way i don't want to pull it yet because that'll just basically make contact with the board the battery anyways but that is what the board looks like this is the uh, version 4, so um, I believe that uh, most of the previous models, they had all of the buttons and everything down here at the bottom, and then the button was up here, or the battery was up here. So this is the current stage of the board itself. You can see you've got your little small screen here, all right, your antennas, you have your USB-C, your SD card, some buttons here. Let's actually use the uh, Apple Pencil to point it out. Um, we have the buttons there. We have some uh, branding here. So, uh, Rain Sun, okay. Kisu, the website. All right, you've got your GPIO here, okay. Uh, ground up, DP, on, yeah, DN. I'm not sure what those are for. I'll have to look. Again, this is all fairly new to me looks like we have some ir here okay these are these look like they're the antennas yeah so these look like they're 
for external antennas. Um, yeah, these little pins right there. Okay, you've got your, let's see here, your button battery. I always wanted to think that this one here was going to be for an SMA connection, which it actually looks like it is an SMA connection, you know, just by looking at the contacts here. So, um, and then, wow, you've got everything labeled here on your GPIO board, or the, at least the slots anyway. So we'll put headers on there and uh, you'll have a full GPIO board itself. I know some of the pins won't be used, but that's okay. Um, but to have the option of a full full thing makes it really cool. All right, so we've got your power on button here as well. It's kind of hard to see, but it's right here. And then the buttons, so let's, yeah. So the buttons aren't as terrible as I thought they would be. I knew they would be stiff and very, very, very tactile, but, um, but yeah, so I think we can make that work. Let's, uh, let's see, let's pull this out and actually see if there is any firmware installed on this. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's hold the battery in. Come on. There we go. All right. Moment of truth. No? Oh, there we go. We have life. And we need an SD card. All right. Let me go grab an SD card, and I will be right back. All right. So I grabbed an SD card. I grabbed the AWOC. Um... Couldn't find anything else. And we are going to go ahead and, oh no, maybe. Let's go ahead and pop the SD card inside. It clicked in. So let's go ahead, KSU is starting. All right, so it failed. Let's go ahead and click okay. Oh man. This is absolutely insane. We have Flipper firmware running on this board. It's absolutely insane. And it runs really, really well too. All right, we're gonna format this SD card. I don't know what's on it, but it doesn't matter. Okay. There we go. Oh, we have sound too. I forgot about that. That is awesome. All right, let's go over real quick. Let's see, uh, where's the back button? This one. All right, let's go over everything and see what we've got. Um, actually, let's take a look and see what firmware we have on this. I think we might actually have the stock firmware. Okay, ooh. No, so we definitely have the uh, modified version. Yep, firmware version unknown. So this is the Kisu's modified version for the Flipper Zero. Um, but really, really cool stuff. Really, really awesome. So we'll go back and we'll take a look. Empty. Yep, so we are going to... Test some more stuff out on this. Maybe put uh, uh, momentum on here and see, or if we can even add the apps and stuff uh, to the existing firmware. All right. So seems like I'm having an issue with this card. So, or maybe even I'll try formatting it first and seeing if that works. But anyways, that is going to be pretty much it for this video. This is an unboxing. Um, I'm super excited. Um, I'll figure out more on how this this plate works. Um, I don't even see really a point for it, but we'll we'll take a look at it and see what we what we can do with it. But um, for now, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys want to see more on this, please like the video, subscribe if you haven't, so that way you can get uh, the notifications that uh, I didn't. I have a new video out for this, um, and leave a comment, let me know what you guys want to see. I think this little red light here means that the battery might actually be depleting. Yep, it is. Uh, so, but yeah, uh, leave a comment below, let me know what you guys want to see, if you guys have any questions, and uh, as always, I will see you guys in the next one.